In this video, we are starting the playlist of introduction to C++ programming. Okay, if you are a beginner or if you already learn C programming language before learning C++, then it's okay. If you are a beginner, then you can also start with this C++ playlist or uh, if you are already learn C language, then it's well and good. Let's get started for this playlist, guys. What is C++? You know, before learning anything, we have to get a little bit knowledge about that thing. Okay, so let's see what is C++. C++ is the general purpose programming language that was developed as an extension of the C programming language. C++ support the principle of object-oriented programming such as encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction allowing developer to organize code into the object with the properties and behaviors. It was created by Beyond Strauss Group at Bell Lab in the early 1980s. Okay, so C++ is the general purpose programming language. What does it mean general purpose programming language? General purpose means First of all, general purpose means the things that are used for the general initiative, general needs. Okay, so for example, C++ is the general purpose programming language because it's used for building general softwares that, that are around us. Okay, so just keep in your mind, general purpose means like a general store where, where we get day-to-day -day needed things like powder, uh, tea powder, dude, dude packet and you know shampoo uh, etc 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 okay c++ support the principle of who object oriented programming what does it mean object oriented programming if you are not familiar with this topic object orientation <coughs> then don't emphasize here on this topic because in our upcoming videos we are going to learn this topic uh, very properly okay so just keep in your mind object orientation means nothing but keeping data in the form of object keeping data in the form of object so next point is it was created by Bian Strauss Group at Bell Lab in the early 1980s some people called Bajan Strauss Group some called Bian Strauss Group ok feature of C++ programming simple why C++ programming is simple why C++ programming is simple because C++ has an easy syntax easy syntax understandable by anyone understandable by anyone who is in the programming field okay simple and other thing is uh, why it's simple because it's written in english language and english language is understandable by us and c++ keywords is belong to the english language so that's why it's a simple to understand okay second is fast why fast because c++ is built in such a way it's work fast okay the one thing that i want to tell you about the c++ programming language c++ programming language consumes less energy and uh, work fast okay this is the speciality of c++ and that's why c++ is used for the game development okay third is what case sensitive you know case sensitive means if the predefined keyword in c++ that is in small letter and you are writing it into the capital letter so at that time the c++ compile the compiler through error okay because it's a case sensitive if if the that keyword is keyword is in small letter in the at that time we have to write it in the small letter okay don't we have to do a changes okay so fourth is was portability what does it mean portability portability means we can run c++ code on another um, uh, machine without changes means we can do a li little changes but still we can run that on other machines other platforms other operating systems like so it means portability okay portability compiler base what does it mean compiler base just keep in your mind compiler is nothing but the translator compiler is nothing but the translator user for the translate source code into the machine code source code into the machine code okay and uh, C++ use compiler, rich library, C++ used for building system software, uh, game development, application software, a uh, lots of things are there and that's why C++ has a rich library support, okay, rich library support. And C1 is object oriented programming, I already told you that uh, object oriented programming is what 
means keeping data in the form of object keeping data in the form of object okay so let's get see our another slide so our another slide is about to what is the use of c++ programming okay what is the use of c++ programming the use of c++ programming the first use of c++ programming is system software development system software development now you may ask question sir what is meant by system software if you are beginner and you don't know about the system software you know just keep in your mind there is a two types there is a main two types of software first is system software another one is application software okay the system software means nothing but the operating systems nothing but the operating system that we use okay like uh, example operating system operating system like windows mac and linux all these are system software and application software means what you know operating system for example windows uh, on windows we run ms office so ms office is what our application software our chrome browser is what application software okay application software take the support of operating system means take the support of system software okay another use of c++ programming is game development game development let's see which games are built in c++ the gta v pubg mobile dota 2 clash of clans why c++ used for the game development because c++ is the fast programming language and that's why c++ is used for game development embedded system so if you are not familiar with the embedded system i will tell you what is meant by embedded system the software okay the software program is integrated with the chip the integrated with the microcontroller okay so it's called as a embedded system okay embedded system embedded system the best example of embedded system is smart smart watch you can see over there there is a digital smart watch change the numbers see, digital number change the digital numbers uh, and there is a program integrated with that chip so that's why it's a, a example of embedded system atm machine is the best example of embedded system calculator is the best example okay there is also software program integrated with that chip okay this is the embedded system okay and another use is application software i i already told you about the application software our application software is the nothing but what our google chrome mysql mozilla firefox vlc media player visual studio etc etc are application softwares and our last one is graphic and animation okay so in graphic and animation we have adobe photoshop illustrator cad adobe animate all these are built with c++ programming okay we now we are going to see what is the benefits of learning c++ programming why learn c++ programming okay so learning c++ programming learning c++ programming is the valuable because it's provide a strong foundation in fundamental programming concepts offers versatile across industries like system software game development and embedded system enable high performance coding enhance problem solving skill and open up job opportunity in various sector I highlighted some point over here we learn c++ programming then we will get the fundamental programming concept okay and uh, you know c and c++ are parent languages okay so that's why uh, in order to come in the programming journey and uh, software development we should must have a knowledge of c and c++ so that's why here i highlighted point fundamental programming concept and another highlighted point is problem solving skills okay you know while building software there we get a lots of you know problems okay a problem lot of problems and lots of conditions are there in order to develop the complex software okay so we should must have problem solving skills and that we can develop through the help of c++ programming okay and here is a job opportunity you know if you know c++ programming language as a fresher you can get easily job in market you can get easily job in market as a fresher now we are going to see how to run a c++ program how to run a c++ program in order to run a c++ program you need a below things below thing is first editor okay editor and another thing is what 
compiler and these two things are needed to run c++ program okay so here text editor notepad notepad plus plus sublime text is the example of editor okay so now we are going to see what is meant by compiler i already told you that you can see here meaning of compiler is translator that translates source code into the machine code okay and you can see the example here for example it's our you know c++ code okay it's also called as what c++ programming language source code okay okay and now we are going to translate this code by using the help of compiler okay okay in the machine code okay zero one language uh, that is the binary language okay machine code okay and um, as you know machine can only understand the binary language let's see the example of compiler okay that used by c++ programming compiler name is what g C, C and G++ use for C and C++ programming language. Okay. Uh -huh. If we combine editor plus compiler, editor plus compiler, then we will get what? A ID, integrated development environment, integrated development environment. Okay. This is the combination of editor plus compiler plus development tools equals to what id it's a combination okay integrated combination okay the example of this is dev c++ code blocks eclipse visual studio this is the example of what id okay now we are going to see the structure of c++ programming this is the structure of c++ programming this is simple hello world program okay this is simple hello world program so now you can firstly see here hash include io stream so what is a hash include io stream okay hash include io stream is a header file library that let us work with input and output objects such as std colon colon c out okay the meaning of io stream is what input output stream io means what input and output okay so uh, another line is int main what is this in main int main is the another thing that always appear in a c++ programming is int main this is called as a function any code inside its curly brackets will be executed you know the code that is inside this function okay that is inside this function curly brackets that is going to execute okay it's kind of a function we are going to also see the function okay if you are getting confused over here then don't get confused we will going to see this thing practically okay so std c out hello world is going to print on console screen okay and um, below this you know you can see std colon colon c out what does it mean c out pronounced as c out okay uh, is an object user together with the insertion operator it's a insertion operator is nothing but what insertion operator insert the uh, string okay to output print text in our example it will output hello world okay it's nothing but what text and this insertion operator going to print this on console screen and in the last line there is a return zero return zero is the main function what return zero is the main function most of the time some get confused in return zero okay this is the basic structure of c++ programming we are going to see this very properly practically in our next video so now guys here we have saw we are uh, using ide okay here we are using ide visual studio for running our this c++ program okay this we are using here visual studio 2022 it's nothing but what ide integrated development environment that we are going to use to run our simple hardware program in our next video okay so thank you for watching if you think this video is helpful then click on thumbs up